Hey kids, do you like blind packs? Then some of you are going to enjoy this and some of you have already turned off this video. Butt Butts. Today on Gorilla Reviews. Yes, Butt Butts is the latest in the blind pack items that have taken over most of the toy market because they are inexpensive. They sell for a certain regardless of the price point, and there are a lot of them. One advantage to bot bots is that these considerably actually do a little bit more than just be little PVC standees, as these transform. A little bit of wackily, but they do indeed do that. <coughs> as you can see, we do have uh, some examples here already. From these shed heads, we have Fun Gus and the Slobber Rock. Don't care what you say, that there's a rock lord. We also have uh, the Greaser Gang of uh, Sup Dog. No, r really, that's his name. From the Lost Bots, we have Dimlit. Yes, he has a flashlight. And yes, he does look a little goofy, doesn't he? Oh well. Finally, from the <clears throat> Jock Squad here, we have. Kid Clobber, more like Kid Clobbered, and that's me. Yeah, obviously they're going for a lot of puns under these names, but at least they're trying. We'll get to these in just a moment, because I wanted to show, demonstrate some of the transformations on these. <clears throat> Getting to these three, which are part of the backpack bunch, we have Professor Wellred, Totes McGoats, and Snippy Snappy. Now there are a uh, roles for these interesting ones. Totes and Goats is a totes bag, and it's his role is hipster messenger bag. Sounds legit. We, uh, for Professor Wellred, we have super intelligent bookworm. Okie dokie. And for Snippy Snappy, we have fast moving scissors jokester. I don't entirely know what that means, but that's where we're going with that. Anyway, moving on to transformation. Very simple here. For Snippy Snappy, we just unpeg the arms and fold them forward, fold this part back, and fold this for the feet. And there we have that. Yes, his hands do tend to... hands, arms do come out rather easily. <clears throat> and I've never seen a pair of scissors quite this thick, but that's a bit of semantics there. Anyway, moving on to totes, we fold out the, actually bring out the arms, bring out the head, and then bring out his tiny, tiny little legs. Yes, some of these are going to have an extremely difficult time standing. If you're going to display them, that's something you need to consider. Anyway, on to the professor here. We just kind of unfold him, and then bring out the rest of his entire body. <clears throat> now, an interesting note about the professor here. They say he's a bookworm, but to me, he's kind of resembles this middle-aged Japanese salaryman with a very worried expression on his face. That may just be me, but still, it's something. And his arms do move, so there's at least something there. <clears throat> the big question is obviously, are these actually worth it? That's really up to you. If you're into this blind pack stuff, then you're going to be invested in this regardless. If not, well, you're probably better off sticking with the Siege line. But if you're looking for something quick and simple and esoteric, then this is where you want to go. Anyway, <clears throat> this has been the Desert Wolf. This has been a look at some of the bot shots. And I remind you all, free your mind, free your toys.